Blushing is the most peculiar and most human of all expressions. Share secrets with those who have no friends. Be friends only with those who have many friends. Man, in his arrogance, thinks himself a great work, worthy of the interposition of a deity, more humble and, I believe, truer, to consider him created from animals. One original law, leading to the advancement of all organic beings, namely, multiply, vary, let the strongest live, and the weakest die. Marrying is not at all difficult. It is difficult to be married. We must, however, acknowledge, as it seems to me, that man with all his noble qualities still bears in his bodily frame the indelible stamp of his lowly origin. To those who fully recognize the immorality of the human soul, the death of our world will seem less terrible. There is nothing more unbearable than idleness. The more we know the immutable laws of nature, the more incredible miracles become for us. In conclusion, it appears that nothing can be more improving to a young naturalist than a journey in distant countries. A scientific man ought to have no wishes, no affections, a mere heart of stone. The very essence of instinct is that it's followed independently of reason. We are always slow in admitting any great change of which we do not see the intermediate steps. It is not the strongest of the species that survives, but the most adaptable. It is always advisable to perceive clearly our ignorance. Great is the power of steady misrepresentation. Man selects only for his own good, nature only for that of the being which she tends. Intelligence is based on how efficient a species becomes at doing the things they need to survive. Sympathy for someone else's joy is a much rarer gift than sympathy for someone else's suffering. The highest possible stage in moral culture is when we recognize that we ought to control our thoughts. The love for all living creatures is the most noble attribute of man. We stopped looking for monsters under our bed when we realized that they were inside us. If the misery of the poor is caused not by the laws of nature, but by our institutions, great is our sin. A man who dares to waste one hour of time has not discovered the value of life.